it's time to officially show you what we got the kids for Christmas. I know we opened a lot of these boxes together, but there are things that we didn't show you. So let's officially show you what we got the kids for Christmas. Not water. That was just from our shopping trip earlier. I haven't done a very good job organizing this year and normally I'm organized, but I like to get these gallon bags right here and just put like all of the stocking stuffers in it. That way I have them separate. I have not done that. So I need to do that as I'm taking everything out and showing off what we got. Before we get started, I just want to preface that we are Santa's helpers this year. We just have a little hard time picking out things for our kids because they couldn't decide what they wanted when we went to see him. So we helped him out a little bit. We have elves here and they are actually going to return these to Santa. Um, but this is what Santa is getting for our kids. We've got these little tracing pads. Um, this is something that they've actually wanted for a long time, and so we're just, you know, helping them out. Um, this one looks a lot different because it's Descendants themed um, for Eloise. Yeah, so these are Santa's um, little tracing pads for the kids. They love anything to do with art. It's just like hours and hours of fun. We got the girls new dolls. Uh, they've really never had dolls like this. One of the biggest things of this year is like sharing toys. Um, so they'll be sharing like the little bottles and the stuff that goes with the toys. Dolls. Um, and then I got this pack of doll clothes. You can see like all the different kinds right there. I'm trying to decide whether these will go in stockings or not. I think it's pretty darn cute. These are adorable, but I just don't know. Like, are they good stocking stuffers? I think the girls will like them, but they're also not huge into bows. I like them more on the girls than they do. <laughs> so this one's probably more for me. Maybe I should put it in my stocking. Another thing we tried to do is buy a few things secondhand, not necessarily because we couldn't afford it, but because we wanted to not just be a super consumerism-ish. Is that a word? Yeah. I don't know. Um, and we wanted to kind of use things that are already here on the planet and just like fix them up or just use them if someone else isn't using them. So these next few things are actually things I bought used either on Facebook Marketplace or um, from a thrift store actually. So this is actually pretty cool. It's a salt water fuel cell motorcycle. And he gets to build it. So that'll be really cool for Liam. Yep. Um, and, and then this, this one. I've actually been wanting to get one of these for a while. They're pretty cool. I love I love microscopes. I love doing all the experiments growing up. And I think he'll have a great time doing that. And I think the girls will too. I think that'll be kind of like a family gift too. Okay. Not just for Liam, but maybe Liam will open it. Does that make sense? It does. Now the cool part with this is this is actually a glow in the dark crystal lab. So all the kids will get to work on this and make their own glow in the dark crystals. They love rocks. They I got this. At from someone on Facebook Marketplace. I'm actually not sure if we'll even give it to Oliver. Um, and then... This is cool. Yeah, I really think he's going to like that. I think that this is kind of like right up his alley. He's going to really like using the hammers to push those little balls through. And then the shape finder. And then dragging around the house. I think this is going to be like one of his favorite toys. Let's be honest. He's going to use the hammer to do other things too. So Oh, that's true. It's going to be a great time. Let's hope that our apartment lasts through that hammer. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, then we got all the kids' books. Yes. This is for Penelope. And this is for Ella, Junie B. Jones. And then this one is for Liam. He's getting more into, like, the chapter books. So I went ahead and got, we got him a whole set. <laughs> I ordered it. I know. Another secondhand toy for... <laughs> <laughs> I need to go back to yoga. Another secondhand toy for Oliver. Um, he's actually already tested it out and he's obsessed. It works well. It's a great toy to have at an apartment. Like, it's not noisy at all. Are you kidding me? Yeah. It was very annoying. I don't know how long it's going to last. Look, it might run away. That's about all I got to say on that. Really? Yeah, why not? 
Man, I actually got more secondhand things than I thought. I found this cute Melissa and Doug um, thing. <laughs> Look, that's me. You're I know. Ooh. Welcome to Inception. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got this cute little vanity dresser for Penelope at a thrift store. Um, I was going to repaint it, but actually I think that it's in such good condition other than just needing like wiped up yeah. that we're just going to leave that one. Um, this other one though, it needed to be yeah. totally stripped. And so it's kind of taken apart right now, but I'll show it to you guys. So this is for Ella and it's a little jewelry box. And I also got this at a thrift store. Um, so these are the doors that go on the top part. One side has a mirror, the other side does not because it broke off, but I'll do something else there. Um, and then it has little drawers with like ring holder slots and stuff. And then the other one's just a plain drawer. Sandy. Anyway, so it's cute. I actually sanded it and it looks better now that it's sanded than it did before. It uh, but it's going to be like blue, maybe like galaxy looking because she's really into that. Um, so that is another thrift store find that I think she's really going to like. We talked about the Tonys when we opened them up, but if you don't know, the Tony, this Tony is like a little box and you put these little figurines on top of the box and it sings and um, it also has like little stories. Like you can read popular books. It's great to have instead of like screen time, <laughs> <laughs> then they can just use these to entertain themselves. We can also use them in the car. And I really feel like this is gonna be a super amazing or the kids are never gonna use it. Um, we paid quite a pretty penny for it, but there were very high reviews. Um, we'll see if it was worth the money. Very skeptic. We're down to the last few. Another group gift that we have is Play-Doh. And I wanted to do like kitchen themes. So this is like a pan and some like baking utensils. And then right here we have like a mixer, I believe. Yeah. It's like a pasta mixer. I think that'll be really cute. Like a flattens and makes doughs and things like that and honestly i don't know what this one is because it didn't come in a cute box i don't remember um it looks like it might have like molds or something inside uh, it looks like maybe cookies i don't know it says molding compound with toys well molding compound is and just play-doh Play um so i think i think that one was like a cookie set or something like that it's all has to do with like baking and being in the kitchen because the kids love that, which kind of leads us into another group gift, which is something they already have. And it's kind of just a replacement. So if you don't know, we spent a year in an RV traveling around a little bit. Um, and we had this set and it kind of got lost between here and Texas. And yeah, I don't know where most of the pieces are. And so I got a new one because we love it so much. You can go in the dishwasher. All of the kids use it. like. When I make hot chocolate, they pour themselves hot chocolate in the little teacups. I think it's adorable. And whatever works for them to play together, that's what we go for. We got these little writing tablets for the kids. Um, they write on them like this, which is like this, like it's not even a pencil, it's just a little um, stylus. And then they can just push a button and it erases. So this is actually really good for homework, like you can see here, but it's also like drawing and all that kind of stuff. So it's great for the car because it's not messy. These are actually really inexpensive. Um, we've had them before and the kids loved them. So they're also getting those. Um, the girls are getting little makeup brushes. There's actually a little bit of makeup that goes with that too, but I haven't opened the box yet. Um, and then just some stuff for, oh, paint. There's a bunch of paint too. Oh, nice. So to go along with these writing pads, the paper pads, is all of this craft stuff. Little paints here, um, some neon paint, paint brushes, and then like some big paint right there, just finger paints. Um, these paint sticks, more paint brushes, and these are really cool. They have like little rollers on them too. More paint there. And then like watercolor things. Yeah, so it's just a whole box full of paints. So maybe we're being a little bit too practical with our gifts. Mm. Um, but we also did get like 
more fun stuff, fun stuff which yeah. is what, what this last box is, which is the last box that we're going to show you tonight. All right. We got to get some games for the Switch. Animal Crossing is really, really big right now. Which we've never played. You've never played no, of it. I've never played it. I've, I've never know played what it. it is in Smash Brothers, but that's about it. Nerf Legends. Liam really wanted this one. That was on his verbal list to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited to see what it is. He loves to play Nerf guns in general, so it's going to be pretty cool. He told me that all of the kids at school have Nerf Legend on their Switch and that he has to have it. It's so important that he has it. It's pretty funny. And then finally, Among Us. Now, it does come with a plushie inside that Liam is going to get, and it's got a lot of cool stuff. But this won't be Liam's. It'll actually be, like, all the kids' as well as the other two games. Yeah. Um, but the plushie will be his, the little stuffed animal that's inside there. So what do you think? Do you think we went overboard this year? Not as much as we did last year. Yeah, I feel like it's more practical this year. A lot of craft stuff and things that are more creative, whereas last year was... A lot more like things and toys and stuff like that. Just stuff that gets used and yeah. lost. Right, yeah. I don't know that there's even that many toy toys no. here. Like the dolls are toys, but they're <laughs> also creative. Like you play creative, play with them. Um, I feel like everything is just like a creative type of toy besides the video games. Um, but then the kids play so well together when they play video games and they're very active with each other. And so I don't mind it as much. Like especially when it's really cold outside and we live in an apartment and so I can't just be like go outside and play for hours and hours and mm. hours because there's like a parking lot to play in and that's it so they get a lot more screen time than I probably like there's no probably we are a week out from Christmas so now we just need to wrap everything and it's a lot to wrap yes it is and I thank you in advance because you're way better at it than I am. I'm going to be doing it all. 99% of it, yes. 